Hello friends, welcome back. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how to paint this cute little wheelbarrow with pumpkins in it. I found it at Michael's. It was $8.99 and it is pre-fired. All you gotta do is paint it. So many, many years ago, seems like yesterday, but <laughs> I used to run the ceramic department at the fair and I did that for about four years and helped people learn how to paint and judged uh, people's ceramics so yeah I'm gonna show you how to paint this so notice how I'm taking that hay color around so that my wheel and the bottom of the wheelbarrow are rounded and I'm also gonna add it inside the wheel wheelbarrow underneath the pumpkins so I just feel like that that adds a little bit more dimension to it um, there are no instructions on how to paint these. You absolutely can paint them any way you want, however you feel looks best. So I would definitely say use the colors that you like. So I was just kind of going with a natural look here. And um, as you can see, I'm using like a medium brown color and I've painted the hay and underneath the pumpkins that same color so this is going to be the base and i'm starting at the bottom of my piece of ceramic and working my way up so next i'm going to paint the metal part of the wheelbarrow black and i'm also going to paint the wheel black and i am going to take my time a little bit i'm not I, and I would definitely say this for you guys, don't worry about being precise and painting everything exact and getting the line straight. It's paint, you can paint over it. And I'm using acrylic, so with acrylics, if you don't like something, you can actually just have a clean paintbrush with just water on it and a paper towel and pull the water or pull the color off. So, uh, but yeah you can always paint over the top of it so don't be scared to paint these so I've painted the inside of that wheel gray and I'm gonna paint my wheelbarrow red and I have a lot of red in my house I love red but you might choose to paint it black um, more of a traditional wheelbarrow or gray um, or you know that turquoise color or whatever color you like um, but I'm just going to show you how I'm doing it so notice how I'm not just painting the handle solid I'm just kind of streaking it around and I am gonna go back over and kind of clean up a little bit where that black kind of bled through and that's what I mean by don't be afraid to paint um, you can always paint over it so I'm just going to add a little bit of yellow on the corner of my paintbrush and I'm going to lightly go over the high parts of the hay and this is just going to add some dimension and some realism to the hay and uh, you can do this as much or as little as you like. Um, you could also start by painting it a very dark brown then lightly going over it with a lighter brown and then going over it with the yellow for even more dimension. So I'm just gonna do this. Um, you could use a metallic gold that would look really beautiful, but I'm just gonna use yellow. And again, like you can see, I'm not covering every little spot. I'm just lightly going over it, just the high points, and I'm not forgetting to add it to my faux hay underneath my pumpkins so you could always add something real hay in there if you wanted to so i'm going to use a little bit of silver and it is an acrylic as well i'm going to add a little bit of black to it and i'm going to go over the metal part of my wheelbarrow and the black metal and also that inside ring on my wheel and make it look like metal so on the inside wheel I did paint the entire gray piece silver but here where I've mixed it with the black I'm not painting the entire thing I'm just kind of randomly going over parts of it and I'm also doing it on the handles 
So, you know, you guys do it how you want. I'm just showing you how I would do it. And I'm gonna add a little bit of red oxide. And again, I'm only using acrylics. I'm adding it to that same red that I used. And I'm gonna go over it, uh, my wheelbarrow again, and give it just a little deeper color. So if you don't have that color and you want this same effect, you could add a little bit of a dark brown, just a little bit to a bright red and it'll give you that same effect. So I'm gonna go ahead and let that dry. It's coming along nice. I'm liking how it's looking. So next I'm gonna grab some Cad Medium Yellow. This is the perfect yellow to do a pumpkin. So I'm just adding a little bit of red. You can see my measurements here and it, it looks more yellow than you think it should be and that's kind of what you want to do. Um, I'm gonna go over the high points of the pumpkin. I'm not going in to the creases, the ridges of the pumpkin. I'm just going over the high parts and I'm not even painting the entire high part, just kind of the tops and um, down some of the sides. You, you can see what I'm talking about better than I can explain it, but just kind of random and it just brightens that up a little bit. Then I'm gonna use a medium brown, that same medium brown I did the hay in, and I'm gonna paint over my entire pumpkins, all of them, and the red part of the wheelbarrow. So you could go over the hay if you wanted to, and it'll give it just a little deeper effect. Um, I'm not going to. I'm just going to do the red part of my wheelbarrow and my pumpkins. So I'm going to set this down long enough to go into the kitchen and get a paper towel and then come back. So I'm not going to let this dry completely. Once I get my paper towel, I'm going to come back and wipe it down. I'm going to wipe almost all of it off. I'm just gonna leave it in the creases and the edges. And the same thing with the pumpkins. I'm just gonna wipe it down, almost all of it, but I'm not gonna wipe out of the creases of the pumpkins. I want a shadow effect, and that's what the brown is gonna do. This is technically called antiquing, and it's, it's a great effect. It gives it a very realistic look. So you can see here how it looks. I've not wiped it all down, but just some of it. Um, I'm gonna go back over the high points of my pumpkin, because I just wanted it a little bit brighter. And that same uh, uh, kind of a yellow, it's more on the yellow side than the orange side. It looks orange here, but mixing it in your pan you want it a little bit more yellow than you think it should be. So like I said, I'm just going over the high points and it's kind of giving a light shining on it effect um, or a more realistic look of color dimension. And once I get my pumpkins done, then I'm gonna do the same thing with the stems. I'm just gonna add a little tiny touch of green to the same orange that I've created for the pumpkins. And I'm gonna go over just the high points, the same thing, just the high points. I don't wanna cover my entire stem. I just wanna add a little bit of a color dimension. Multicolors multi look more realistic than a solid color. Okay, so as you can see, I'm going over parts of my red part of the wheelbarrow again with the red. So I'm not gonna cover the entire thing. I don't wanna take away my shadow that I created with the brown, but I just wanna brighten up a little bit, the same as I did with the pumpkins. So I know I'm showing you a lot of painting here. Um, a lot of people really struggle with this, so I wanted you to be able to clearly see what I was doing and give you the full idea of it and how to do it. Um, and that's why I'm only having one DIY in this video because it would be way too long if I added any more DIYs. I do have more coming up, but 
I wanted you to get a full understanding of how to do this. So uh, yeah, I'm just going over it just to brighten it up just a little bit. So once I get this done, then I'm gonna go ahead and set this down and let it dry just for a bit. Okay, so while that's drying, I'm gonna go ahead and flip through this book of scrapbook paper. It's a fall series. I love it. I got it from Michaels. I am so in love with almost all of these papers, but I'm just looking for something little that I can use on my wheelbarrow. And I found it. It is this page. It's got three little signs on it, and I'm just gonna choose which one I want. And I think I'm gonna go with pumpkin patch. And so I'm gonna cut it out to exactly the right size. And then I'm gonna Mod Podge it onto my wheelbarrow. And then I'm gonna go over the entire red part of the wheelbarrow with the Mod Podge because it's gloss. It's gonna give it a glossy look and that's what I want. So here it is. I absolutely love how this turned out. They had so many to choose from but this is the one that I fell in love with. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that you found it helpful. And of course, as always, I hope you're having a great day. I'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye.